All right, back for round two is very solid hand that I'm gonna keep. And what is happening with this chat? Probably gonna play bandage turn one, I guess. I mean, uh, plane so I can play bandage. What is happening? Oh, I think my keyboard doesn't work anymore. That's what's happening. Yeah. I've been having a lot of issues. No, never mind. It does work. Alright, whatever. Maybe the, the battery is low. Uh, so this is the reason why it doesn't respond too well. Uh, as my opponent has not been doing a whole lot of things. Hopefully you can trap something with the knight. If they don't play anything, I'm probably just gonna cancel though. White, red. Okay, okay. Ooh, a knight of their own main phase for some reason. Don't really understand the the goal of playing that main phase, I guess. Um, so I could do several things there. I kind of want to trap their knight with my knight and bandage. That sounds like a sweet one. Um, I think I'm gonna twitch the knight over using cancel because if I cancel, I will actually have to discard, which doesn't seem like the best option. Holy strength, I don't really care about that too much. At least, I mean, it's pretty bad against dehydration, so yeah, I definitely don't care too much about that. Unless I do something else that I really want to care about, like playing a two toughness creature that I, that I can trap, I'm probably gonna end up um, dehydrating, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, dehydrating, I think we can say that, maybe. <laughs> Uh, the, um, the knight. <clears throat> I got a nice two for one here. Can definitely appreciate that. And yeah, we have quite a bunch of uh, sweet cards in hand that I can play, and then I can refill my hand with council. So, deck is working well. I mean, I'm just getting a bit of card advantage, playing some sweet cards, so everything is nice. Um, I will play my two uh, creatures here, so I think I can actually play Conclave. Uh, if I had a planes, I could be tempted to play that to be able to have the bandage in the back. If they have some sort of, you know, one damage burn spell that I want to use. But he, here I don't think it matters too much. Um, if they have a sorcerer, I mean a pyromancer, it's going to be really troublesome though. The thing, I don't really have any answer for that, except for dehydration that I just used. I have a few bandage, but the thing is going to plow through my team, I think. For some reason, my opponent is not doing a whole lot of things though. Not sure why. Seems like 5 mana and 2 color is good enough to do stuff. They ended up shocking my dude. Alright, fine. Don't remind really that too much. Um, I could have attacked with a conclave, I guess. I think I will just cancel though. And keep both knight and cancel available. Which is a pretty sweet combo. Um. I mean, not really a combo, but you know, it's nice to have some other stuff um, to do when you are holdi holding up count counter spells. And I'm pr at this point, I'm pretty much burying my opponent card advantage, so it's it's kind of nice. And I think I will try to keep cancel available for the most of the game, um, and just counter things that are threatening. I'm not gonna play the knight here. I wanna trap the. <coughs> the guard. Um, it's pretty obvious that I have something in the back when I'm just passing with, you know, 7 mana, a fairy conclave and um, and um, and 5 card in hand, but I don't know, I mean, if my opponent just don't want to attack or don't want to play a spell, I'm fine with that. Uh, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just here standing and uh, yeah, I'm fine. I mean, if they don't want to do anything during their, their turn, it's, it's it's completely fine with me. If they attack, I will trap though. Or at least intend to trap uh, the thing. And I guess I'm gonna tap like that, it does not really matter. I just need one white and a few blue for my uh, cancel and, and bandage. And given that I have bandage and cancel, this should be trapping something. Um, I think I'm willing to cancel that. I mean, it's not the most threatening spell, but it gets rid of my creature and gives them a creature, so... By... I don't know, by cancelling that, I kinda get a 2 for 1, which I think I can appreciate. 
Yeah, sweet. I mean, I'd rather keep my cancel for like really threatening thing, but here I think it was like what my opponent did was good enough that I wanted to uh, use my cancel. All right, I think time has come to beat down with the conclave. <coughs> I will not pacifism the um, the guard. I don't really care about that thing. I mean, my open can eat me for two each turn. It's it's the, pretty much the least of my concern, and uh, also, um, yeah, I'd rather keep pacifism for better stuff. And if, if you know, if I start being in danger, which is not very likely to happen, I can just hold up one of my first striker, which just completely uh, beat the the guardian. Lightning Elemental. All right, that one is kind of threatening. I mean, it's it's it's, uh, it's enough damage that I will probably have. Why did they not attack with the Guardian? So if you don't know, Cloud Elemental cannot block uh, ground creatures. So my opponent just missed two damage here for no reason. Probably unfamiliar about this card, which I can understand. I mean, it's, it's fairly old set, I guess. Um. At this point, I'm probably holding up one of my first striker in the back to block probably the the, um, the two toughness one, which is easier to save with bandage if you know they try to trick me or I don't know some stuff like that. <coughs> I could just attack with everything though at this point, just because my opponent is taking a bunch of damage. Uh, so now the question, I think I pretty much have the win. Should I play around uh, a, a mass sweeper? I think if they had that, they would have used it last turn. I don't know, I don't think I should play around that. I'm just gonna run my griefing, and my opponent is like very dead next turn. I mean, the griefing does not change anything because I, I still have four power of flyer, but now they really need something. Uh, or they die, and even if they, they had a Wrath of God here, I could still uh, attack for two with my Conclave, two turns in a row, and win with that most likely. But that that man manland has been doing a really good job those games. Um, so white red <coughs> beat down, I guess. Don't think there's anything I want to change. Maybe add a Twitch over Divinity uh, Council. I don't know. You draw one less card, but it can give you a bit of life, which is could be relevant. <coughs> but as as you as you probably see in those game, card advantage is really really good. Like the card that won me all my games so far are the the council, the the sift, and and stuff like that. It's just card advantage is just amazing in those core set because you will probably not out tempo and open that easily. So. If you can just draw a bunch of cards and just play more spell, you you will eventually win. I guess if they are extremely aggressive, the Feather could be an option, but it seems pretty mediocre. I'm just gonna submit. I don't think there's anything that looks so amazing uh, for this matchup here. My opponent does have Shock, Incinerate, probably some other Burn spell, probably some Pyromancer too. Alright, that hand is... ah. <clears throat> it's not bad. I would keep it on the play. I would keep it <laughs> in most unknown matchup. But the issue is that my opponent seems to be playing a fairly aggressive deck. And if I'm not doing anything during the first turn, it could really be a problem. I don't know. It's really close, but I think I'm gonna mulligan. I don't want to risk dying early on by just not doing anything. That that one is much better. I think I'm gonna keep that on top. I think I should be able to draw that force land at some point and. It's one of my Rimvol, not the best, but one of them. Turn one star, probably they, they are probably not splashing anything. Uh, it's probably just you know a um, um, a cantrip or whatever you might want to call that. Just you know to have a twenty-third card that just cycle itself. <coughs> As I don't have a turn two. Well, in this condition, I guess my the, the the hand I mulligan could have been a keep, but <coughs> I really did not want to risk my opponent having a pretty aggressive start and you know dealing a lot of damage and then burning me out with shock, incinerate, and stuff like that. And I don't know, it it was kind of close, but I think it was the the right move. Thing is slightly annoying, but it's like not gonna 
do a whole lot of damage. And I just drew Cloud Elemental, which was pretty perfect. Kind of blocks the patrol forever. So it's nice. And if I can put that Fisher into the battlefield, I can start, you know, beating down with my flyers, which is nice too. Alright, Incinerate. They do have a bunch of removal. Well, at least they, they, they drew the same removal that they played last game. If nothing else. <coughs> so the Fisher is gonna wall that thing pretty much forever. And getting walled by it too, but it's fine. Again, Holy Strength, yeah, I would advise you against playing that. I guess here it's gonna work kinda well because they have Vigilance and they have Dehydratation. Um, but if I draw one of my Pacifism or one of my Bounce Spell, it's like, it's gonna be pretty bad for the opponent. Alright, so I guess I'm taking two here, not a whole lot I can do. And hopefully this will just not deal 20 damage. I don't think it's very likely to, but uh, you never know. Ghost Warden. Okay, okay. I'm probably gonna run the Griefins out and Conclave and pass the turn. So at some point I might try to triple block the patrol. Slightly risky though, because if they have a removal I'm really getting blown back. They pumped before the, before blocking, interestingly enough. I'm not gonna block, but I mean they might as well wait waited I guess. The guard. Not exactly great on this board, but not bad either. I guess I'm gonna Play my island, no reason not to, and past the turn I don't have any good attack. Slightly worried about the patrol, but not too much I can do about that. <coughs> Should not auto yield though. Alright, I'm gonna block here. Um oh they have the the warden though, which is really annoying. Should I well, it's too late to try triple blocking, I guess. I think, yeah, I'm gonna trade one of my creatures for that thing. They might choose to use the Warden here to deal a bit more damage, since uh, they don't have to pump the, the the guard, in which case I can get my 2 for 1 with a bandage. Yeah, alright, sweet. Uh, so they targeted uh, the other dude, so yeah. Still gonna work pretty well for me. Hopefully, if they don't, if they have another shock, I get blown back, obviously, but there's not like thousands of things I can do about that. And next turn, I will probably try to triple block that thing. I'm not sure I have any other options. And I might have to dehydrate the Ghost Warden. Alright, Wall of Fire is doing nothing in this game, and probably nothing in my deck in general, so I don't mind that. Sift was a very good draw. So I guess I'm gonna dehydrate that thing because it's gonna be pretty annoying and um, intend to triple block on the patrol and pray that they don't top deck uh, an instant speed removal spell in the meantime, which would be pretty bad. If they do, I can sift into a pacifism maybe. Um, either way, if the if the patrol die this turn, I feel like I'm gonna win just because I'm, you know, my my HP are fine. I'm not under too much pressure, and Sift is probably going to provide me with enough card advantage. I'm going to make the trade. Obviously now I cannot triple block on that anymore, but hopefully I will find some stuff with Sift so it does not matter too much. I'm also drawing a card of the feature. Ooh, pacifism, we got that. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So now I'm really like uh, in a fine spot. They play Griffin, which is fine. Um, ooh, and Council too, I can appreciate that. <coughs> so yeah, let's sift discarding uh I guess an island and Yeah I'm gonna pacifism that thing. Intend to trade with their griefin and pass the turn. And my opponent, we have like a pretty even board. I mean, the wall of fire is like pff, not doing anything. 
And then I will have council and knight, so I should be able to uh, do stuff. I also have a, a council, I mean, a, a conclave, which should be pretty good. They top deck another griefing, though. Kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. If they just draw 5 land and never draw the lands and draw spell each turn, you know, all the card advantage I'm getting is not gonna be really relevant in the end. Alright, some decent stuff. Um. I will kind of have to trade my conclave for the grief in here, which is not my favorite, but yeah, I cannot really afford to take the damage, and I cannot save my uh, thing either. <coughs> they did not attack though, interesting. I'm not gonna run out the knight, they are not doing anything here. I mean, he I guess. Uh, Alright, another council. Don't mind that. Uh, Twitch is not bad. I guess I, I can play the Steadfast Guard now. And if I play the other knight, I can start uh, beating down with ground creatures. Uh, I'm still willing to train my Conclave. It's slightly annoying, but uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about their griefing other than that. They might have drawn a Rimvol since they attacked this time. Maybe maybe they are just playing around white stuff, not sh really sure why, because Bandage doesn't really save my thing either way. I <coughs> think I'm gonna Twitch that thing main phase so I can get in for a bit of damage. I might end up using my Pacifism, but I'd rather avoid to do that if possible. And, keep it f and keeping it for, you know, more dangerous stuff, basically. I have 13 cards in my library, so maybe I should worry a little bit about my, uh, about this, but we are doing fine here. We are doing fine. Yeah, I think I want to keep my pacifism in hand. It's also the last removal in my deck, and uh, <coughs> I will still be able to deal 2 damage each... No, never mind, I can pump that, actually, I forgot about that. Um... I could unsummon, but it on me <laughs> by me one turn. Don't really like doing that too much, but my opponent seems to be out of gas, and um, I kind of need to, you know, start applying pressure and doing stuff because if I just stand there, uh, eventually my um, my I, I'm gonna run out of card in my deck. Pretty easy unsummon here. I can, you know save my uh, knight, which is nice, and beat down with the guard. At this point I do have a <coughs> decent amount of pressure, <coughs> but if my oven draw a really good creature that could be troublesome because um, yeah, I don't have my uh, thing anymore. Alright, Juggernaut, pretty annoying creature. So I can trade my both of my creatures for that. Not exactly what I want to be doing, but I pretty much will have to. Yeah. All right. Not the best thing to see here. I've been drawing quite a lot of lands, but I've been <laughs> drawing in general a lot too, which does explain that. So this is 11, 13. So I have four lands left in my library, which is a bit uh, less than a third. A bit more than a third, not a bit less. Alright, so we are gonna trade here, I hope. And hopefully my opponent doesn't have many more relevant stuff. My opponent has been drawing a lot of spell this game, which is really annoying. Otherwise, I think I would be in much better spot. Like they probably have one lens in hand. I hope at least. But other than that, yeah, that's really a lot of creatures and spell in general. Mystic is good. <coughs> the good news with Mystic is that it, you know, buy me time. Uh, it's a rimvol, but it can also start beating down actually. Which is definitely relevant. If they just attack with the Griffin and don't play anything, I might just start beating down with the the Mystic next turn. Hopefully they they just have two lands in hand and not too many spells. 
Yeah, apparently no spell, at least not yet. Ooh, that, that was a very solid top deck. So now I can just raise those griefing pretty efficiently. So I think at that point I only have to worry about my uh, library, but I'm probably not going to end up losing to damage just because of the Starlight Invoker. <coughs> my opponent should not attack there. Unless they have, you know, something in their hand that make, made them want to attack, but they probably just want to block the Invoker if they don't have anything. Alright, no, they don't seem to care. Or maybe they have something, but they did not play that yet. Alright, let's gain 5. Pretty sweet one. Uh, Warden is, is good too. Give me a bit more of port presence and hopefully it will let me attack through more things. It also means that now the, the Invoker is cannot be blocked by the Griffin. And I do have a pretty decent clock here. I guess I should have played my land and last turn I should have played my land too so I can bandage and invoker. Yeah, that would have been a, b a better choice. So, kind of a misplay here. I don't think, I mean, I don't know, but hopefully it will not matter. But yeah, this land should be onto the battlefield. No real reason to keep it in hand and I might really want to be able to use both uh, abilities. Alright, Griffin are getting boosted. They still cannot block my Loxodon, so I don't care. They still cannot really race me, so I don't care. So it's pretty much fine with me. Uh, if my oven kills my Loxodon with Incinerate in response to that, I, I would feel pretty silly though. Alright, so nothing here. So I can just continue to... I could also actually tap the Griffin and... Uh, <clears throat> and attack the turn after that, but I think this gives me a better clock actually because I can just attack now I think it will block interestingly enough, so they probably have some sort of trick in hand I would assume I do have a, a trick of my own, so... okay Shock maybe, another incinerate if they had, if they had incinerate, they should have used that last turn when I used the Starlight Invoker. Otherwise, it would really be weird. So it was just chump blocking for no real reason. If you really want to chump block, just don't put the aura on your creature. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. At, apparently, they conceded because the game just kind of froze here. Yeah, they did. All right, so we get there with Sweet Card Advantage, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and see you guys for the final.